So here, we're being asked to name the following molecule. We're going to use a lot of the tools that we used earlier, but we've upped the complexity because now we have stereochemistry. So I'm going to start by identifying the longest continuous carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we know that we have a heptane. We also note that we have an important functional group. That important functional group here is the alcohol. So we know that we're going to have an all somewhere in this name. We now need to deal with the fact that we have a whole lot of functional groups and we have some stereochemistry. So we need to assign R versus S at all of these chiral centers. I'm going to start with this red carbon here. It has a hydrogen atom that's to the back. This alcohol will be group number one. This methyl group here will be group number three. This hydrogen will be number four. And this whole decorated bit here will be group number two. And I'm going to get rid of our green carbons for now, just so we can keep track of all of these labels at once. I'll trace from one to two to three, and I will note that it is clockwise. And I'll note that group number four is in the back. And so I get to call this 2R. 2 for the position it's at and R for the stereochemistry. Let me get rid of this red stuff just so it's easier for us to follow along with each other. And let's talk now about this blue carbon here. It has a hydrogen coming forward. Now here, this hydrogen will be group number four. This methyl will be group number two. This whole group here with the oxygen on it will be number one, and this here will be number two. And I trace from one to two to three, but I note that the group number four is coming forward, and so I rotate clockwise but flip the assignment. I have a 3S stereochemistry. Now we are almost there. Let me get rid of all this blue stuff for us, and let's deal with this alkene now. So this alkene here is tri-substituted, so I need to cut it in half. Then I need to compare the two different functionalities on it. This would be priority number one. This would be priority number two. Priority one, and there's a hydrogen atom. That's priority two. And so I have an E alkene. All right. Now we can erase all of this, and now we can assemble this name in full. It's going to be quite complicated, but we have all the tools we need. We start the name by indicating the stereochemistry. We have a 2R 3S E. Now we don't need to say 4E because there's only one alkene. So when we say E, it's implied that it belongs to the alkene that's there. Then we need to name the types of functional groups and decorations present. We have a 3 comma 4 dimethyl for the two methyl groups on the third and fourth carbons. We have a hept for the seven carbon chain with an alkene at the four position and an alcohol at the second. And that is a really long name, but it is correct. 2R3SE, 3,4-dimethyl-hept-4-ene-2-all. Indicates the alcohol at the two position, the alkene at the four, the hept for the seven carbon chain, the 3,4-dimethyl for where those methyls are located, and the stereochemistry all the way at the front. Take a really methodical approach to these really tough questions and you should be fine.